What is Kahoot? Kahoot is a simple web-based application that allows students to use mobile devices to provide real-time feedback during a discussion or lecture in class or even during a game. It replaces the use of clickers because students can use any computer, cell phone, or tablet. How can Kahoot support learning in Pasco County? Well, first, students are actively engaged in discussion. Secondly, every opinion and voice counts rather than just one or two of the loudest in the class. Three teachers are able to direct discussion and the lesson so that confusing concepts are clarified on the spot. It also easily allows for collaboration between students and group decision making. There are many ways that Kahoot can be used in the classroom. Attendance, live icebreakers, live quizzes, live concept checks, live concept application, uh, live class discussions, live games that show dynamic data and comprehension levels. It also can show you live poll results. All of these can influence a deeper learning and class discussion. As you'll see momentarily, you can engage students and assess them simultaneously with the application. You can also print out a spreadsheet to find out which questions were the hardest and analyze the data. In the following section, we will watch a tutorial that was created by a teachers for teachers to actually apply Kahoot in their classroom. Hello. In this video, I will be introducing an educational website called Kahoot. Kahoot is a classroom response system which creates an engaging learning space through game-based digital pedagogy. To get started, simply go to getkahoot.com. There you can learn all about what Kahoot has to offer for classroom use. Quizzes, discussions, and surveys can be created with any device. Teachers and students can create, manage, and share questions. Students answer questions through a powerful classroom engagement tool. This is my favorite part and that is that educators can challenge learners to ask their own questions. And finally, learners can become leaders by asking their questions back. So to get started, you simply click on Get My Free Account. And there, it's very easy to just set up your username and password. Once you've done that, you'll get a page that looks like this. Then you can decide what you want to create, quizzes, discussion, or a survey. So if you want to try a quiz, let's say we decide we want to make a quiz, we click here on quiz. And then we start by giving the quiz a name. So in my class right now we're reading our wrinkle in time. and we're studying cause and effect. So the first question might be, the beasts are suspicious of Meg Calvin. And Mr. Murray because and then you can select the answers down here and that these would be the multiple answers multiple choice answers that the students have to choose from you can have up to four answers if you decide you only want three you can easily get rid of the fourth and then you select which answer is supposed to be correct. 
and then you just click on the next question and go from there. Now before I show you how the game is played, let me show you this awesome feature. On the opening page, you can go to find a public Kahoot. And here, teachers can, if they decide they want to share, or students decide they want to share, share cahoots they've made, they can be found here. And you can pretty much narrow the search by selecting school, and then type in your search. So, like I said, we're reading A Wrinkle in Time. So when I search that, I can see if anybody else has created a quiz already on A Wrinkle in Time. Here's one that I think I'd like to try. And so if I want to preview this before I play it with my class, I can do that. Now here's where I can show you what it looks like when the kids are playing. They'll have their device. When you as the teacher decide it's time to launch the game, you click on Launch. After clicking on that, you'll get a PIN number. The PIN number is what the students then enter into their device. And this makes it totally safe for kids. If kids make their own Kahoot and they want to share it with their friends, the only people who can access their questions are the people that have been given this particular PIN number that goes with their game. So there's no way for anybody else on the web to get to them. There's no chatting or online texting with this um, game, so it's totally safe for students to use. Very secure. So the kids would enter their PIN there, and then they can get started. Well, the other fun thing is they can enter a nickname. Okay, so then they're in, and the teacher can start asking the questions. You can see what it looks like for the teachers here. This is what I project up on my Promethean board. Some nice sound effects. So the question is read, and the students on their device select the answer. And then the teacher and the class can see how many students chose the, the correct answer. What also is nice and really fun for the kids is that they can see their ranking. Um, out of about six or seven students, the highest um, and fastest responses are shown up on the screen. And then the questions go on like that. The last feature I want to show you in this video is a nice tool for teachers. When a quiz has been taken, for example, I gave my students a quiz this week on long division as part of a review for their test. And you can get um, the results of the game in a download. And it, which makes it really easy to <clears throat> view the results. So I can see who got which questions wrong, and I can analyze the data to try to figure out how I can better teach those students who missed several of the questions. The discussion and survey features are also fun and very easy to figure out. It's pretty self-explanatory. And that's pretty much it. I hope you give Kahoot a try. I have been finding it's a very helpful tool in my class.